back at Pine Valley Trail. It's right next to Lincoln Hills Motorcycle Trail. But it's not part of it, it's not a motorized trail. I'm taking a regular mountain bike this time. I took a fat tire last time. The trail's pretty compact underneath, uh, though it has a layer of duff on top because it gets very little very little traffic, but it's had traffic for a long time. And today I'm going to follow the main trail up to, I think it's point four, I believe, where I'm going to take go back to point one via the north trail, the north loop. It's supposed to be a little bit tougher, barely. So I want to see what it's like uh, really for skiing next winter. Yeah, that bicycle track is mine, but these feet weren't, so there has been some recent uh, foot traffic. I'm at point two. I'm going to go all the way to point four. Um, and take it backwards, this north loop. Because around here somewhere it's hard to follow. The, it mixes with this trail. And uh, you can get screwed up on that, I guess. And we'll see. So I'm going to go this way. It might be easier for me to figure out the first time. Even this part might be easier. Well, that's right here, so I'll just go there. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to head to three and then to four. Okay, and then... I'm thinking these go back to the 60s. But I could be wrong. It could be more recent. I think they might be though. Made of metal plate and everything else. Not plastic. Before the plastic age. And I lost my foot travelers. Just my track is all. Still working my way to point four. Passing by Lost Lake. Climbing the big bank on the one side. And I believe I'll see four shortly when I get above this peak, past it. Oh, still don't have my bicycle lungs. A little out of shape for biking still. Feeling better than last time, or at least I was. Start to run out of gas. I'm not even halfway through. Well, I'm at point four, finally. And I'm going to go onto the big loop trail back. See how that treats me. Should be two and a half miles back to point two. So, and then another point three back to point one. Almost three miles to go. I'm following it this way because the road, I already said this, mixes with this trail and it's confusing here, they say in the description. Also, I'm not really sure how this goes. Well, I'll find out. But I can always abandon it. If it turns out bad, I can always back up and shoot back or even use the road. So that's why I'm going backwards for my first try here. Well, I found where they talked about it going to a two-track trail, except somebody had just freshly bulldozered the thing, which made going a little less pleasant. But I think I've made it all the way north to eight mile, so clearly I've missed my trail. I might go down eight mile a little bit just to look for a look-see. But uh, yeah, big fail here. It was cl clearly marked where I left the trail, but I never saw any other markings. Maybe they were right away and I was too busy focusing on the uh, 
bulldozer tracks to notice. I don't know. Huh. Foreman Road is what I was on. Followed it down a little bit and I'm back to Seven Mile. So I don't know where my trail went. I'm going to backtrack, see if I can figure it out. I've gone north up Foreman, past where I got onto it. I went south to see that intersection. And I went all the way north past it and back up here, about half a mile or so. Hoping I'd see some blue. This trail's marked no ORVs. And it kind of continues this way, but it looks more like a logging trail than anything else. So I didn't see any blue along the way. I could keep going. Maybe I will out to that peak. What the heck, gone this far. Because I'm figuring if that trail went north, you know, it has to eventually cross Foreman Road. There should be a good marked crossing somewhere. I'm about to give up on that idea though. I'm gonna go up there and look. One last look. I think it's about three quarter mile back to where I got on this thing. Oh my god, I found it finally. Way up here. I'm not too far south of eight mile here. I think it's it right up there. So the question is now do I backtrack and see where I lost it? Or do I go forward? I'm gonna backtrack a little. See if we can figure it out. It's a pretty trail. I'm gonna have to figure it out someday, but I'm, wimp I'm wimping out. I'm pretty tired. I want to go all the way down this hill and have to climb it again. <laughs> anyway, this is the first hill from Seven Mile that I climbed. Then I came to these markers, and then I came to that two track. I saw that blue there, so I figured that was the way to go. I should have noticed that it's pointing like an arrow. When they put them up sideways, it's to point you. I didn't notice that. And someone said something about exiting the same side you entered on. That's confusing advice because uh, there's a lot of trails you cross here. I had to cross this trail again shortly ahead. But see, someone's made a big wooden arrow here. <laughs> but no blue. We need some blue tags here urgently. It's the trail's very hard to follow. So I'm going to freshen up those sticks a little so they're more apparent. And now about a half mile of up and down trail to get back to where I was on Foreman Road there. Oh, back on top of the hill on Foreman Road here. Cross over to Fresh Trail. Ooh boy, this is going to be fun. <laughs> I'm going to jump on and gear up and get some speed going. And I'm back to point two. It was a nice trail. Pretty scenic. The only difficult spot, well, I was confused up here. And, uh, but the only difficult spot tree-wise, or trail-wise, was right off a of seven mile going down here. It was a real fast down, and then it turns as it's going down. Wouldn't be any trouble for me cross country skiing, but for a beginner it might be. So if you're a novice cross country skier, I don't think you'd really have any trouble with this trail. Um, except you have to climb this hill. I'd go this way to avoid having to go downhill on this one difficult hill. There really is nothing else that difficult in here. There's some climbs for sure, but nothing of great difficulty other than finding the trail. And if in the winter someone has tracked this, of course it'd be a lot easier to follow. So in general, the trail is old and compressed, even if it has a lot of leaves and autumn debris on top of it, and grass growing on it and everything else. 
But the core of the trail is pretty old and pretty compressed, even if it doesn't get a whole lot of use. So the long and short of it is a fat tire bike would was an overkill here and uh, a lot happier with the regular mountain bike here. A little easier pedaling. Not worth the additional weight to run the fat tire on this. Not necessary. Didn't really hit any sand pits. And there's my car. So I think this loop is probably the only part I haven't done yet. Not sure if there's anything to see down there. I might do it. Or V trail goes right beside it down there though. It, amongst it.